Wheeljack. So there, there we have Wheeljack in robot mode. Now, quite a lot of things I like about this. Um, like I say, it's one of my favourites. Um, mainly because it's based on Wheeljack and he was always one of my favourite characters. Um, one or two things I'm not too keen on. Um, first of all, we'll go to the weapons. Um, you, of course, as you saw, you get the sword, which you can pop in his hand like that. It kind of just slots in and then pushes into a hole, eventually. Where's the hole? There we are. There. So he gets like a, a pretty cool sword. And he also gets um, a gun. Now, I'm not too keen on this gun. Um, brilliant design. I like how that folds out like that. And then that comes up like that. It's a really cool gun really really cool gun nice big blaster but the thing I don't like about it is at least for mine I don't know about anyone else out there but at least for mine um, I can't get it in his hand very well so he'll he'll take it and it'll go in and he'll hold it and he's gonna do it now because I'm recording this now there we go see and it just it's really loose and you can't get him holding it without pretty much wobbling about or looking loose or flimsy and it just it's just a really big shame that you just can't seem to hold it short of putting some blue tack in his hand and securing it down there's nothing else I can do um so yeah the things I like about this um I love his head he's got a very very G1 head with the uh, the ears on the side that light up when he talks um yeah I love how he looks pretty much like his G1 I love the design, I love the way that the car moulds into a robot. Um, it's really, really, it's really unique. Sorry, this has just become loose now. There we go. Um, really unique transformation. As I said, the, the, the seats become his feet, the seat feet. I love that. It's a really, really cool touch. Um, I love how everything at the back folds away quite nicely. One of the things I don't like his legs. Now, I only noticed this a couple of days ago when he was stood on my shelf like this. Um, and his legs are just so bulky and thick. They look like he's wearing some ice hockey goalkeeper pads or net pads or whatever they're called. Um, I, or, or since we're in England and we're very English, he looks like he's wearing cricket pads. And it just it just looks weird. He's got um, like yeah, you know, there's his head, his body, his tiny waist, and then these huge, great big stonking legs. You know, massive, massive cricket pad legs, and it just looks weird. And I don't know. It's it's just it's it's a really really fiddly um, gripe that I've got. It, it really really is kind of like I'm complaining about this because I've got nothing else to complain about. But yeah, his legs are just too big. So, other than that, highly, highly recommend this. If you like challenge when you're transforming, this is your guy. Because he is not the easiest. There's some alternators out there that are quite intricate, which I love, um, but they're not challenging. This guy is. He's intricate, he's challenging, he's got a transformation like none other that I've ever seen. And he's just, he's brilliant. He really is. And the fact that I don't transform him very much because he's so difficult it takes nothing away from the fact that I like him you know it's just a fact, case of the fact it's just so damn difficult and you've got to be in the mood to do it so but yeah that's pretty much it I highly recommend it he's very very easy to come by on eBay at the moment unlike some of the other alternators that are quite rare um, he's one of the ones whenever I Whenever I search alternators, whenever my fiance searches alternators on the internet, Wheeljack's always up there. Um, I don't know how much this was because it was a gift. Um, no, tell a lie, I do. No, uh, fiance actually told me the other day. Um, he actually cost about twelve, thirteen pounds. Uh, so they're going for an absolute bargain because every time I've gone on and looked, been about twenty pounds around about that mark. He's he's not too expensive not too hard to come by so keep a look out for him and if you see him and if you haven't got him then pick him up because he's brilliant uh, brilliant alternate version of a classic classic character sorry about that camera kind of cut out but um, nothing really much more for me to say 
Um, as I say, if you can find it, pick it up. It's a fantastic, fantastic alternator. Well worth your a space in your collection. So anyway, this is um, Transforms Alternators Wheeljack and Spider Kel. Saying I'll see you soon and take care. Bye now. Yeah.